Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another Jujube haul. This haul comes from Jujube.com and Tokidoki, and it is the brand new release of the latest collaboration between Jujube and Tokidoki, which is called Toki Retreat. It's a lovely pastel pattern. But before we get to those items, I do have a few other items that I got. Um, one is I got a sticker from Tokidoki because they usually send those along with the orders. The reason that I ordered a split order was because this was one of those releases that was gone so fast. And so I was going back and forth between them to try and grab the... I only really wanted three items. And, uh, well, I did get three items, but uh, we'll talk about it. Anyway, so I got that from Tokidoki. And so what am I going to do with the sticker? I think eventually they'll end up in a scrapbook or, or on something. But for now, if you haven't seen this, I've just been putting them all in this. This is a Vera Bradley photo album that I just, I put them all in there. And this is one that I don't have. I don't know the name of it, but I'll just put it in here and it has its own page. Dun, 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 dun. So lots of stickers. All right. Now, the first thing I got, oh, no, everything's dropping off of my little stand I made here. Okay. This is a coin purse. This is in the chromatics in the um, most recent release, uh, not counting the Disney sensational snacks, but the most recent solid color, which is Grape Crush. If you order from Jujube, you cannot get either free or by purchase, you cannot get these. You have to order from the smaller retailers and usually they're free with a $100 purchase or more, which is so easy to do. Uh, but I always miss out on it because I try to order directly from the company itself because it makes the most sense to me. Uh, and I don't live near any retailers that sell anyways. So if you want them aftermarket, you can buy them, which frustrates me to no end because what people got for free, they sell for $20 or more plus shipping. So it drives me nuts, but I love purple. I didn't have any of the purples, so um, I grabbed a coin purse to kind of cross that. But anyway, there you go. But they're nice little coin purses. They are big enough to hold uh, some cards, but not as big as a zip ID. Um, but they hold coins lovely, and I do actually use them for that a lot of times. So anyway, enough about that. This next item is a Be Ready. I had a couple of these. The most recent one was from Wonder Woman. It's a beautiful, rainbow, colorful pattern, and I used it in the RV travels last year. I took it on my cruise. I was really loving it. It has a little bit of a structure to it, just a little bit. Like the top and bottom are semi-rigid, actually, but the middle has some give. This one is the same item, the Be Ready, in the March for Murlocs pattern, which is a World of Warcraft pattern. I have a few items in this pattern. I think it's fun and whimsical and colorful. And even though it's a light background, it's jujube, so it's wipeable and washable and very resistant to stains because of the Teflon coating. So it's, it's worthy, but also it's purple inside. <laughs> so yeah, okay, anyway. It was from Amazon actually, new with tags. But this one, compared to the Wonder Woman one, this one is extremely flimsy in the, in the sides and, and whatnot. So um, I don't like it as much because of that. I actually like that it, the other one gives some, but this one almost gives too much. In the end, it won't matter because what I use them for is I use it to put like all my vitamins and supplements and stuff. And so, it will stand up on its own merit because of that, because of what's in it as well. But it's nice, it's just a little top handle and they go. And because they're fabric sided, you can change the shape just a little bit with what you have in there. But uh, anyway, inside it has one, two, three, four, five elastic loops. I really don't use those most of the time. And then there are two mesh pockets on either end, two here and two on the opposite. And that's it for the inside. And then on the back, it does have a like a, a name tag thing, a clear plastic slip there for that. This is just a sticker from the tag. Anyway, so I got that to add to the collection. I find that they are great because they have that semi-rigid top and bottom that they stack very nicely under the sink. 
So you can have like one for all your extra toothbrushes, toothpaste, dental flosses, all that together. You can have one for your makeup stuff. You can have one for your lotions, one for your perfume, whatever. You can do what you want with them. So I have all these little things down under my sink. Most of them are the clear ones from Vera because they have that same basic shape, but they're a little bigger, but they're clear. So you can see exactly what's in them from the top and sides. Love that. And um, anyway, this is just another option and great for travel. So I got that. And then the other items I got that were not Tokyo Retreat, stand by, stick around, it's coming. Um, but CMO 2.0, this is a previous Tokidoki pattern from a year or two ago. And these are zipper pulls because they are changeable. And because it's still the same characters, for the most part, they don't all go on every pattern. But I, I'm liking, first of all, I like, like you can put two matching ones or you can make little earrings out of them. You can make a charm bracelet. You can make a necklace out of them. You know, you could do so many things with them. I have been making bag charms and keychains. So anyway. I like them. But here are the characters that you can get in there. There are eight different ones. You have Jelly Cat, Octopus, CMO, Pufferfish, Goldie, Latte, Donatella, and Sandy. And I think I have all of them. So these are spares. So if anybody needs a teacher. Hi, Kelly. Come on. You want to see these? Yes. <laughs> so these are blind boxes. You want to see it? I know, it's so interesting. She's been barking at the pool guy. I know. Okay, get up. Good girl. Oh, she's shedding. Always shedding. Um, okay, these are blind boxes. So they're three to a box, and they were like 20 bucks or whatever. But these were on sale for like five bucks. And then with the discount, actually it was like eight bucks for two. So really good deal. Just pop them open. So we're going to open these up. This, this instruction tells you how to change the zipper pulls but let's just open these up really quickly and see what they all are i am partial to some of them but they're all good and this is a great one cmo sorry you can't see it very well so they all come just like that that one's open i have a whole bunch of zipper pulls from different brands i wish that jujube would still sell them like this or not necessarily blind but more of them because they only came out with like three for this pattern and i got the favorite donatella not my favorite but the favorite i like donatella a lot i like this big round zipper pull i find this type is a little bit better for bag charm making if you will um, and this one might be really better for zipper pulls in general for my taste but that's just me i like them all i just don't like the itty bitty zipper pulls that you have to like find that's annoying to me and puffer fish, which is always great because I love purple. And again, it's a nice big base. I actually have a bunch of sea punk frenzies that I was gonna make some bag charms with for cruising. So all of these are very cruisy themed because they're nautical and underwater. Goldie, yay. My niece loves that one. So I might make something special for her. Let's see. But like I said, I have a bunch of them. These are all spares. And Sandy. Sandy is one of my favorites. Also one of the most widely known, I think, um, between her and Donatella. And we'll talk about that again in a minute. But I like her. I mean, I live in the desert. And yeah, that totally makes sense. So cactus and sand. and <laughs> Anyways. And the last one is a repeat CMO. So two CMOs. Sandy Donatella, Pufferfish, and Goldie. So that's nice. We got only one repeat. I like that. And it's a good one. All right. So while we're on the topic of keychains and zipper pulls, the brand new Toki Retreat pattern did come out with um, some zipper pulls. Well, actually, they came out as a keychain, honestly. So I'm not sure why they changed it, but let me pull this out real quick. Oh, my goodness. I got it well sealed in here. I'm gonna get the paper out. Okay, so this one, there were three options, and there they are. You could get Donatella, Sandy, or Tiger Mom. So three of the most well-known, I think, of the group that most people can name. Um, and you could buy them from either Jujube or Tokidoki. In all honesty, at this moment, I don't remember which 
site I bought them. Doesn't matter though. It all comes out the same because they are the same. So I got one of Sandy and one of Donatella. Now these are not blind boxes. These are, you know, in clear so you know what you're buying. I do like that aspect of it, but I do kind of wish that, that we could get more of the characters. These are specific to the Toki Retreat pattern. So each of these releases, like CMO and others before it, um, so the characters are all the same character, but little different accessories or poses. Um, so a little bit different colors and whatnot. So anyway, so now more charms and keychains. Now let's get into Toki Retreat. So the first item I got is the B set. Um, I, you know, I love my pouches, of course, and I love this, the B sets. I have right here two, I have, I have like four boxes of them, like jammed in all different colors and patterns and stuff. But I brought two of the boxes and a, and a handful of extras to discuss pattern matching, like mixing and matching and coordinating. So we will get to that at the end of this video. But let's look at the pattern itself. So first off, they came out with rose gold fittings. Now the zipper is tonal, but the, the zipper pulls are rose gold. So there's a little lotus flower and then the Tokidoki Jujube. And the other one is one of the characters. And this is Truffle, a little cactus rabbit, I think. Um, I think that's the name of it. These do come with a tag on them. Yeah, that's Truffle. I'm just gonna open this other tag so I can name, name them. I think the one I get mixed up on is the unicornos, but okay. So they also came out with the uh, enamel filled nameplate that again says Tokidoki Jujube. And then you have a lot of the, the Tokidoki characters are also cute. You got Latte and his friend up here chilling on the recliners. You've got Sandy right here. Uh, what is this? Puppuccino or something like that. I forget the name, but the little Donatello's little doggy. You got Mozzarella, you got Truffle, you've got, was it Diamante and Crystal, Cristallo, Cristallo? I don't know how to say their names. You got a little Cactus Kitty. You got um, Tiger Mom down here doing a little bit of yoga pose. You got Donatella with her yoga mat. Um, yeah, you got, what was it, Biscatina or something, one of the other ones. And then on the other side, you can see a little bit more of the pattern. Now you have Donatina. Uh, it's like the other Donatella-like one. You've got Jade. You've got Palette. Yeah, so a lot of the fun. Water Lily is the other unicorn up here. That's one of the zipper pulls as well. Yeah, just super fun. And I like the colors. I like that there's sort of this like tropical background behind it all, which is really kind of cool. It seems to me a very Asian themed um, thing, you know, because you've got the little pagoda statue thing. You've got the bamboo. You've got the ponds and sort of just like that whole. And then you have your little sweet little dolly girl there. Anyway, and, and you got the gong. And yeah, so it's like a Japanese garden, which all makes sense because Tokidoki is Japanese art by an Italian artist. Anyways, side note, I got so excited because the artist actually liked one of my Instagram posts about my um, recent Hobo B what's in my bag on Instagram. So they, they hit like, it's sort of not a big deal, but I was like, oh my God, like that is so cool. Yeah, that's the simple things that entertain me sometimes. But anyway, so that was fun. And that is the B set. Inside, of course, you have the other two pouches. There's the tag, by the way. Toki Retreat. And then inside tells you the characters you could get on the zipper pulls. And these you could not buy separately, except you could buy the top three. Like I said, like I bought these two. And then these are all on items, but you cannot buy them separately. Yeah, okay. Anyways, so the large piece, you got the short strap, long strap. The long strap is adjustable. The inside of this is, is kind of like, it's, I want to say mauve. It's like a purpley pink or pinky purple. It's a very, it's, yeah, I want to say mauve. That's my best description. Um, but here is some more pattern placement. You can just see all little characters. I'm not sure this little monkey guy's name is really cute. But yeah, so the scene repeats. It's geometric, so it's not a wide pattern 
you know, thing. And there's the small one. I got like perfect placement with some of the mains right there. All three of these could be zipper pulls, which is super cool. And then on the back, I do love mozzarella, actually one of my favorites as well. So really cool, fun, and colorful. And this is such a great piece as an accessory inside really any bag from any brand. I love these little small set pieces. And the small one used to, the small and medium for that matter, used to come with those little itty bitty zipper pulls that I'm really not a big fan of. Now they've switched to these hinged ones that are a decent size you can grab a hold of. I like these so much better. They're so, so much better. But anyway, okay, so that is the B set and the three pouches. And reminder on these, um, the large one is two zippers. The other two are single zippers. The large and medium have the plate and two loops. The small only has one loop on the end and the tag on the side versus the plate. So that's the differences. Now, normally the set pieces have interlocking loop up here. And for whatever reason, this one does not. It's okay for me, I don't need to lock it for the most part. But sometimes when you're traveling, that's a nice feature to have is to be able to put those together, put a little travel lock through it. And then if you're using it as a purse or something, you know, you can't get pickpocketed as easy or things like that. So just a thought and because I do travel a lot, those are things I think of, but really cool colors. We'll come back to it shortly because we're gonna do some print and color comparisons. But the three items I wanted was the B-Set, the Bestie, and the new woven strap. I missed on the woven strap, not because of lack of trying. There was technical issues, of course, during launch. And yeah, so I, I couldn't get it on either site. I missed it in both places, which is really sad. Um, but yeah, so I did order the Bestie. I did get it. Yay, I got the Bestie. I love this size, actually. This is... A really great size for me um, but because of historic issues with orders being canceled after the fact due to oversell I don't know why technology can't keep up with the amount of inventory but sometimes you think you got it but then a week later you get an email that says sorry we oversold your order was canceled for that item and that just is sucks so to cover myself I went ahead and ordered a mini BFF as well from the opposite site, just in case, because by the time I went to double up, um, because I could give one to my sister was the plan, uh, not to be greedy, but to give one for me and one for my sister. We just booked a cruise together and I thought it would be a fun surprise to have a fun bag, even though it's not cruise related. Anyway, side story. So I ended up with a mini BFF and a bestie. And that is totally fine. I can gift it to my niece, to my sister-in-law, to my sister. I, I have some options. Um, or it just gives me both sizes because sometimes you do want one or the other. But these are really great. They're basically the same. Um, they're just a different size. And so when you look at these two side by side and then you have the regular BFF or Dr. BFF, it's the next size up. So it's like large, medium, and small. But the best deal, like I said, it's just a good size. I love that it has the top handles on them. I really like that you can carry it crossbody or shoulder bag. You could carry it as a belt bag as well, but then you also have the option to make it a little backpack. And I love having that convertibility where it's not gonna be you know, a big intrusion to take the strap off and use it whichever way you want. So let's look at the bags. We'll just do it side by side. First of all, pattern placement. This one is awesome. A little mini BFF with Donatella and Water Lily and um, what is it? Snoop Kitty, the little cactus kitty, and mozzarella. Yeah, super fun. Um, on the side panels, I got a nice bit there with Jade in the water on both sides with Truffle on there as well, and a little bamboo garden. So I like that it's an intact scene in both cases. I like things not to be chopped off. On the back, I got the nice little scene there as well with most of the main characters and lots of colors. I do like that it shows all the colors. All right, and this one has Snoop Kitty as the zipper pull on it. And the Bestie has regular zipper pulls on the top. And then the bottom one that is um, Diamante and Chris Cristallo. I'm not sure if I'm saying the name right, but it's the Unicorno. The little crystal one. Okay, so those are the zipper pulls. Both bags have the same shape. 
But before we go into the innards, let's look at the side panels of this one. <laughs> awesome. Jay, Diamante, Crystal, Cristallo, Mozzarella. And then a different scene on the other side with Donatella and Water Lily. So super cool. And Jade down here on the bottom. And on the front, look at that placement. I got some of my favorites. Palette Don, um, Donatina, or I might be saying that name wrong. But it's the little Donatella, not the main Donatella. And then Jade, Truffle, Diamante. Yeah, and that's Kelly. <laughs> she likes it too. All right, now let's get back to side by side. Ha, 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 ha. The window's open, she can bark at neighbors. All right, so this front pocket on the mini BFF is roughly the size of the small set piece, roughly. Therefore, I mean, it's, it's almost exactly, actually. Um, that means that this will not fit inside. But if you have coin purses, ha -ha, guess what? They fit perfectly right inside, and you could fit two or three of them, depending on how you have them filled. So this is a great option. The other option that I could definitely see me doing is having one of these and like a B charged, a little card thing, or a zip ID and just putting those in there together and that's like your wallet, if you will. So great option there. And this has that hinged zipper as well. On this one, this pocket obviously is proportionally larger. So actually these hinge zipper pulls make it not quite as easy to open just because of the angles. This one, because it's larger, does have a elastic mesh slip in there and it's bigger. So if you take the small set piece, that can fit easily inside of there. You can fit probably two of them easily or you can fit your coin purse like in that slip and then have the set piece in front of it or vice versa. So you got some options there, but definitely nice that things actually fit in there, which is nice. Other things that fit in here are some of the small lug wallets and Vera wallets, you know, the card cases, things like that. The Rodeo, Rodeo 2, Splits, all of those fit very nicely in here. Maybe another day down the road we might do a, a wallet fitting in the Bestie or something. Or like maybe when I do my next What's in My Bag and actually use the Bestie for the first time, <laughs> maybe we'll get to it. Um, no, no promises. Things come as they come. But if you want something to see something, definitely ask. I get questions all the time about does this fit there or whatnot. Yeah, for sure. Happy to answer those. That's what I'm here for. All right. So inside, both of them have the same basic shape. Both are double zipper, which I like a lot. And when you have stuff in them, they're easier to unzip, not so unwieldy. Both come with a removable strap that is adjustable and they are the same color but they are different sizes, go figure, proportionally. So that's kind of nice um, to have the different straps. And they're like that nylon seat belt. Inside, they both have the drawbridge um, gusseted opening and they both have elastic mesh behind. In this case, that's it in there. On the bestie, the mesh is on the front and the back is actually a privacy zipper, which is a nice big pocket on the back. The bottoms, you can see there's a big difference there proportionally as well. So you can see this one holds quite a lot more. And if I'm carrying this crossbody and I open it up, you can really, really access everything inside that bag, which is awesome. So if you have like a bunch of small set pieces all lined up in there and you have different ones for different things, I just love it. You probably, and let's try, you can also take maybe a medium set piece and yeah, for sure, you can totally use that inside there as well. Now, I don't think I would use the large. It would fit, but it takes up the entire bag, you know? So you could absolutely do that. Um, as long as you don't have it like filled brim to brim, but it fits. You just tuck in the upper corners and that whole large set piece fits in there. So you use the large one, you could do the medium one and the small one, all in that main compartment and still have room. Um, so depending on how you have those filled, there's your internal organization if you want it. When I'm using a smaller bag like this, I tend to like to use smaller organizational pieces though. So for me, probably would stick to just the small set pieces, but you never know. I do crazy things sometimes. I just go with what works and what I need at any given moment. So there you have it for that. All right. Oops, 
put this strap, strap back in and zip it up. So I have to say, um, I do like also the slip on the back. Hi Kelly, are you helping? No? Okay. You got ants in your pants? I know. I think the pool guy finally left, so maybe she'll settle down a little bit. All right. Both of them have on the back a slip pocket, which is just a nice, easy slip. There's no closure, no zipper, no snap, no magnet. They're just a nice, big slip, which is where I put my phone. Um, I do have it in my pocket, so let's see. And the small one, it does not fit very well, so I can put it vertically. Not a great fit altogether. I still would do it. It does fit inside the bag, but generally not my preference. But look how perfectly that fits in there. And this is why the bestie is so much more important to me personally. So there you have it. All right. Now, we put the bestie aside and the mini BFF aside. We'll put them over here out of the way. Uh, one other thing is oops this goes with that the straps right so maybe this is what you want to go with or maybe you want to upgrade to a different strap so jujubee does sell straps not just the one that came out with the release not the one i missed on you know but they were selling them for for cheap 750 and then with military discount things got cheaper which is great um, so i bought two of the older straps Neither of which is my favorite colors, but I bought them because they go with a lot of the patterns and things that I have. So this one, I mean, I love the teal. I don't mind the neutral. It's kind of a cream color or a tan, um, but the yellow kind of turns me off. I'm not big on the yellow, so that's kind of bold for me, but it happens to match some other things. And if I'm using like my teal lagoon, this gives a pop of color that's not just all teal. So it's nice change up there. Um, also, the hardware on them are different ones. So I just got this one, and I just got this one with olive and, I don't know if it's rose or blush or whatever. I don't know what it says. It doesn't say. But um, anyway, so it's a pink and an olive and that, that same light color. This one is actually a little lighter, more like an off-white versus a tan. Very similar, but you can see they're different a little bit. Um, but this one, again, I got because the, the pink. I have a couple items in olive. I do have the faux leather um, be set, so this I can make into a purse. But even when you look at, you know, that could even go with this bag. So that pink is more pink versus the pinky purple, but it's close enough that it really totally goes. My dog's gonna drive me nuts. Hey, leave it. The neighbor's moving, so there's been activity all day. She's been a little turd about it. It's her, her little roost. So what I get for leaving the windows open. Hey, stop. Come here. Come here. Come say hi. Come on. Hey. No? Come here. Okay. You just stay here with mama and be quiet, okay? All right. Uh, 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 hey, leave it. I'll take it. Hey. This should be bad. Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So the other difference on these is the actual faux leather piece. Again, similar to the woven part. It's a slightly, this is more of like a taupe and this is like a off-white. All right, but I also have some older ones and they also can match with some of these other patterns. So for example, I got the black and gray. I really like this one because this can go with so many brands and bags and has the black with the gold. Um, this may be not as good for this, sure, it, but it goes with other ones very nicely. And especially like uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, things like that. There's the, the one of a kind one, the one that you get for like your loyalty rewards. And this one is pinks. Pinks, even though this is more purpley, I would still absolutely use this strap with these because all of these pinks, like right here in the background especially, it really kind of brings those pinks out. So to me, that totally coordinates even though it's not the perfect match. Um, yeah, things in life aren't always perfect. And then you have this one, which was mm, my first of the newer style, with this longer attachment with these rivets and the star and whatnot. Um, and it also has these more robust clips on it. 
This one came out with the chromatics, so it has that water and pebble or mineral, whichever, and then this like sort of a more yellowy off-white color with this, um, I don't know, vanilla sort of color to it, I forget. Anyway, so this one also can pull out those colors in the pattern. So you see like right here, see those light teals and then kind of the, the slate colored little bits in there. So it totally goes, I would absolutely. So it all depends on which colors in the pattern, here look at this side even, which colors in the pattern do you want to pull out? And then there's this one. This is the one that came out with um, Donatello Sweet Shop 2.0. So that's the most recent Tokidoki prior to this. And um, they actually came out kind of close together. It probably has to do with supply chain stuff, whatever. I'm just happy when they come out. This one has a little bit different feel to it. This one is a little bit more of like a, um, more of like a canvas one versus the nylon one. So I do actually like that better. Uh, but it has that same elongated piece with the rivets. And of course on the one end it has the star, so very nice. But this one matches obviously very nicely with the Donatello Sweet Shop. And this one probably out of all of these straps is the best alternate match to the Toki Retreat because it has the pinks and the purples. It kind of crosses that whole spectrum. And so you kind of get that crossover with the colors and it pulls out all of those bits in the pattern. So to me, I think that is probably my best match. Coincidentally, also the best match for Sea Punk. Uh, yeah, so that's great. Okay, so that's straps wise, um, what that looks like. But let's talk colors and patterns. Let's talk first Tokidoki to Tokidoki. So here is the new Toki Retreat. And uh, we'll look at both sides because depending on which part of the pattern you have some of the different colors. Like here's the pinks and purples. This is more of the blues and greens. Obviously there's crossover, but yeah. So, okay. Let's just go right through them. We'll go through all of the ones I have here. It's gonna take a hot minute because there's a few. <laughs> uh, I don't remember the name of this. Toki Pop or Toki? Toki something. I don't know. Not off the top of my head, I'm brain farting. But you got the same characters. This one is darker, so for example, this strap would go quite nicely with that because the black, it, it just kind of pulls it out. Um, yeah, you get the idea. But there's Sandy on the one side, Donatella, you got all the characters. So that, you know, I think all the Toki Doki could match with each other, but it's just like dark light or same, same. Um, there you go. This one is Space Place. So I think it goes nicely. And sometimes I purposely go light, dark for different things. Here's Sea Punk. This is the bag that I'm using now, but this is the large set piece. The other two pieces are in the purse. But again, they got that light dark, and I think these two match better than the other because it has more of those pinks and the colors kind of jive better. And then you have, this is the same as the thing, it's just the quick versus the set. So this is CMO 2.0. And this one, again, is more of the blues, but it definitely has the pinks and whatnot. So you got on land, underwater, blues and pinks. And then Fantasy Paradise, so you got more of the teals. But again, look at that side. You got the, the blues and the pinks and all of that. So definitely coordinate well with each other. Let me put these back in and get out the next round. Oops, I got them out of order. Oh, well. So then we have, um, which piece? Oh, goodness. Here is Camp Toki, and this is another light dark mix and match. I really love the contrast, and it definitely has a lot of the pinks and purples, but you can see how one side or one part of the pattern can be a better match. Like, I think that side for sure matches better. Yeah. Fun though, fun, fun. I, Camp Toki is my favorite Toki Doki print so far, I have to say. And then we have Team Toki, which was the Olympic sporty one. I think this one matches very, very nicely, color-wise, compatibility-wise. And obviously the same characters. This one's like your blues and your pinks, and then you got all those tones in both. So I think that goes really, really nicely. Um, more match than mix and match. 
I'm trying to shove them back into this box. <laughs> and then the two more recent patterns, we have Toki Market next to Toki Retreat. So again, very, very compatible, but you have the green versus the blue. So you put all those together, you can have your pink and green and blue and yeah, all of your different highlighted things. So for example, so it's like all Toki Doki, but then you have blue and green and pink. So lots of options there. Go back in the box. And then this one was Kawaii Carnival, and this is more of a peachy top. So again, I like that they're changing the different colors. So this allows different things to match with different things. Like here, this one goes um, very nicely with the OAK one. It also goes very nicely with the olive one. And oh, oh I'm knocking things on the ground again. And of course, goes very nicely with the DSS one. There you go. Speaking of DSS, Wait, that's Kauai Carnival. Hmm. Ah, it's in the back. I do have it. Hold that thought. So, we've got Toki. Um, this is another Toki Doki pattern. This is not GGB, but it is like a Kauai Carnival type pattern and slightly different mix of things, but goes very nicely. It's a little busier print but very Kauai Carnival-ish. Okay, and then you've got, there's my, apparently I did not get, I must have missed the B set on this. I have to look back. Hmm. I must have though, that sucks. I don't know, or else I have it put away somewhere else. So this is the, Donatella Sweet Shop versus the Toki Market. They go very, very nicely together for sure. And you can see there's a variety of characters. You still have Mozzarella that crosses over, but then you've got Chocotina and some of the other Unicornos and Marmacorns, but Truffle carried over. So you definitely have that mix and match character. And you can see with this one, it's much more of a pink versus that pinky purple or mauve color. So again, I like the variety. There you go. So I will put that away. Oh, did I really not get a B set? Huh. Yeah, okay. So now let's change gears and compare to Hello Kitty recent prints. Not all, but recent ones. Ones that I thought might kind of match. So I pulled them out to take a look. So you've got your uh, Hello Summer. That actually goes kind of nicely with it. So if you want to mix and match Toki and Hello Kitty, there you go. I, I like that. I like the silver on this too, by the way. And then you have your Hello Kitty Bakery with the pinks and purples. Again, that's a much more vibrant pink on the trim there. But with all the pinks and purples in the pattern, I, I would use them together, sure. And then you have, um, I forget the name of this right now, sorry. I'll put it down below in the remarks for sure, but I think it's Hello Kimono Kitty. Hello Kimono Kitty, something like that. But again, your pinks and purples, so not as good of a match really as that Hello Summer one. Then you've got Alice in Wonderland. It's a mad, mad world. And again, you got some colors that kind of go nicely together because all these pastels in here, I think they go nicely together. So you get a little contrast. If you want to mix things up in your bags, you can kind of tell what's what. Um, yeah, so that's it for that. I have some solids and neutrals to compare now. So here's Cozy Knit. Um, I think this one, obviously it's not a, a stark contrast or anything, but it's not a perfect matchy-matchy for me. I, I would use them together if that was my only options, but clearly I have so many other options that would not be my first choice. Um, now, I wanna say one of these is Pebble and one is Mineral, I think. This is Pebble and this is Mineral. But this is Chromatics and this is Emboss. So let's just look at those together. Again, very neutral color, so you could use that, of course. And then this one is a little bit darker, but you do have some of those darker elements in there that are sort of those grays. So I think that one certainly could go. Again, I wanna liven things up, so I'd probably steer away from those. But other colors you might be interested in, let's look at 
some of the solids and some especially good ones over here. I have lots. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's let's go through and let's start with uh, just beachy. So oh, wait, is that the name of it? Uh, I. I could use anything together, but this is not what I would call a match or coordinate. I would probably stay away from that. Like I might use these two together pretty easily, but anyway. And then I have the faux leather ones. This is the, um, I don't know what you call that. It's like a maroon color. That's not the name of it, of course. And then here's my olive. Like all I have in olive is this and a backpack. So this full set. Um, but it goes there, but it does go really nicely with this strap. So I like that a lot. Um, okay, so we've got those. I uh, also do have this one, Time to Die or To Die For, To Die For. Yeah, that's a no for me. So I'm going to stay away from most of the obvious no's. Um, if you do want to see, like, there's the rose one, I think I would I would do that because of all the pinks in there. It kind of pulls out the pinks and purples, maybe. Uh, <laughs> this is a no for me. That, that just totally clashes. And then you've got um, this is galaxy one. This is probably also a no for me, but there you can kind of see, like, this purple and pink transitions and how that pulls out or not. Yeah, that's a no for me. All right, let's look at some more solids. Chromatics, we've got indigo. I think, you know, it's a solid dark. You could definitely use that. We've got teal lagoon. I really do like this one with it. It's different color, but it's kind of in between the blues and the greens in here. But I still totally would use that. I really kind of like that combination. It kind of ties all those blues and greens together. Yeah, sure. And then you've got Marine, which is an emboss. I think this one is a closer match to the colors, but it's still in between. But it matches a few things, like this little tidbit in the background there kind of goes. And then you have... I know I just said just beachy, but isn't this just beachy? I forget what's the difference between these two, but the interior of this one is that pattern, so I know they're related. Anyway, I will put all the names in order down below. Sorry for uh, the brain farts, but I think this one goes quite nicely because it is such a light neutral. It goes nicely and because it's textured. It definitely differentiates bag to bag. It's not one of my first choices, honestly, but it works. And then we got Raspberry Jam. I totally would use this. Again, it's a little bit more vivid and bright. It doesn't totally match, but there are bits that kind of tie in a little bit. Um, so I could do it. I could totally be happy with it. It's still not my first choice. I think I would go with the blush. Dog hair on there. Um, so I definitely would do that for sure. And you can see a little bit again. I know the lighting isn't that great. But you can see this is a pink and this is more of like a mauve. And then uh, we'll look at it versus the purple in just a second. But this is probably my first choice to go with this pattern. So I'll put this one down here. And then you have that Grape Crush. And I do love this because even though this is clearly purple and this is clearly more of a pinky thing or a mauve, it brings out, to me, it brings out all the other purples in the pattern. And it makes them stand out a little bit more. And she can really see it like Tiger Mom's pants and her hair over here. And I love purple. So <laughs> I would absolutely do that. And the combination of those, like look how nicely those three would go together, for example. Like your three, three little set pieces in a bag, totally do that. The other one I would add to that mix and kind of make a lovely foursome is the lilac. Now I don't have the B set, unfortunately. I missed on that and I, I missed because I was occupied in an appointment and five minutes later it was gone. Uh, yeah, you, you miss a little here and there. But I do have the quick so you can kind of see how nicely those all go together. You also can see that 
this is still more of a mauve. It's like too pink to be purple and too purple to be pink, yeah? So it's kind of an interesting piece right in the middle there. I think it matches better with the blush, but it matches very, very nicely with the lilac. And look how nicely that lilac brings out those other purples, the lighter purples in the bag. So I like that a lot. I also have peachy, just peachy. So when you look at peachy versus the pink, um, and then peachy versus that, uh, again, it's not as direct of a match for me, but if you look at that versus Donatelle, that kind of brings out her and some of the other peachy colors. So this is a less hit for me, for sure, favorite. And then we also have Warm Sand. This is another emboss, this is emboss Ziggy pattern. And I do think it kind of goes, it's not quite mauve, it's a warmer, I think, if that's the right word, um, not as pink, but I would definitely use those together, especially if I had like that blush, and there again you have a three-way contrast that kind of works. Yeah, it's just me. Okay, so I think that's quite enough of that, and I have a big mess of set pieces to put away. Um, there are more here. I keep looking back at them, but like total miss for sure would be like, I don't think March of the Murlocs goes. I would use them together because whatever, but yeah, lesser matches for sure. And that covers what we got for the new Jujube Toki Retreat. And I hope you all, if you were trying for it, got what you wanted. I know a lot of people missed and a lot of people got multiples and if you are buying for other people i have zero issue with that if you are buying multiples because you want a specific pattern placement i'm not gonna hate you for that but it's greedy like people are missing and they just want one for themselves that's it and you take two and you're not even gonna want two you only want one i, I just have a problem with it because you're not gonna sell it at cost and flip it you're gonna jack it up and sell it and be a reseller which i hate so that's why I have to think about that, and I maybe I'm oversharing there, but um, please be kind to others, share, make it an option for them. If you don't want multiples, then don't buy multiples. Don't be a reseller. I don't care if you resell it because you bought something to change your mind. That's a different story altogether. If you want to talk more about that, send me an email. We'll go back and forth. It's fine. I, I, I'm not a hater. I am a dislike with this greed in this world. And um, I just don't like it when people take advantage of their fellow men. So there you go. Uh, all right. Take care. Bye for now. Be well. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Don't forget to watch your watchy. Bye.